Old Craig, please teach me about explosives and orbs so I can get that fat loot. Baby Turtle, all you have to do is watch this video to learn about explosive and orb damage. Now go forth to freedom. Let's start off by taking a look at the explosives. In each setup, I centered the explosive on the foundation. The max damage was caused to the foundation that was touching the explosive. For more details on explosive damage spread, check out my other video, Explosive Damage Guide Part 2. As you can see here, the damage is not consistent. The center right foundation takes max damage in the first two setups, but less in the third and fourth. Anyway, the max damage by a single explosive is 10,892. So let's take a look at how that translates when we add in some walls. One wall is facing towards the explosive and the other two are facing away. The explosive causes max damage to each of the walls, so we can conclude that each wall has the same durability regardless of which way it's facing. Of note is the damage to the foundations. The center foundation took max damage as did the center bottom one, but all the others took 5. The further we get into this video, the more we will see inconsistencies in the damage. If we add in a door and a door frame, we get the same results. The door frame and the door took max damage. Another anomaly, the left bottom foundation took around 8k damage while the other foundations only took 5. So this is what we know so far. One explosive will do a maximum of 10,892 damage to a foundation. A wall, regardless of which direction it faces, door frame and door. Also, the fire burns after the explosion for about 30 seconds. So let's pause with explosives and take a look at fire, grease, and gas orbs. I performed the same test as I did with explosives, but the results were more varied. This is probably due to the spread of the orbs and where the majority of the substance actually landed. If you played Conan before, you're probably familiar with orb stacking. That is, throw multiple grease orbs to increase the damage from a fire orb, and then continue the grease to fire to extend its duration. Sad news, that function no longer exists. I first tested one grease and one fire orb which inflicted 2,739 damage, which we'll use as our max damage for the fire orb. I then threw two grease and one fire orbs and it did 2,745 damage, essentially the same as a single grease and fire orb. I also tried to add grease to an existing fire, but it did not extend the duration of the flame. When I tried three grease and one fire, it actually decreased in damage for only 2,743. Again, the fire burns for about 30 seconds, just like the explosive. Before trying gas orbs, I tried to combine grease orbs with explosives. The most important takeaway here is that the explosive does not set the grease on fire. If you throw a grease and it hits the explosive, it will set the explosive off, but the grease will not ignite. I did see a slight damage increase for a total damage of 13,631 when I threw one grease, placed an explosive on top of it, and then hit it with a fire orb. But the setup was tricky and overall not worth the minimal extra damage. Now moving on to gas orbs, I repeated the steps with the fire orbs and found the max damage to be 2,660, which is slightly less than the fire orb. And just like the grease orbs, stacking gas orbs had no extra benefit. I even stacked 10 gas orbs and the damage was only 2,669. I then placed an explosive and threw a gas, which resulted in only 12,155 damage. So let's do a total recap. Now let's test these max values and see how many of each type it takes to destroy a specific structure. According to calculations, it should take this many explosives to destroy each of these tier 3 structures. Placing one explosive at a time, it took me about 6 minutes and 30 seconds to destroy all the structures. In all, to destroy all of these pieces, it took 9 explosives. I then decided to place 9 explosives all at once to see if this was a quicker way to cause damage and this is where I ran into some difficulties. The game would occasionally let me stack explosives on top of each other, while other times preventing me from placing them within a foundation length of each other. I believe that the safe bet is to assume that they need to adhere to the latter. Regardless, the nine explosives at once only destroyed one wall, one door, and one ceiling. I then tried placing them in clusters of two and it failed a little better, 
but not as well as a single explosive at a time. So to recap, it looks like the best way to go is just by placing single explosives. Moving on to grease and fire orbs, since grease cannot be stacked, I threw one of each, waited for the burn time, and then threw one more of each. I stopped this experiment after the door was destroyed because it took me 12 minutes just to destroy the door. When checking the health on the remaining structures, all the fire orbs that I threw only did about 50,000 damage to each. Here's what the calculations show, and here's what actually happened. And finally, moving on to gas orbs, it fared much better than the fire orbs. It actually took more orbs than the fire, at a total of 20, but because there was no burn time, I could throw them one after the other, so it only took 3 minutes to destroy the door. Now let's wrap up this video by taking a look at the resources that are required to craft the explosives and orbs needed to destroy tier 3 structures. Starting with explosives, for base ingredients you'll need 110 brimstone, 50 crystal, 2 demon blood, 615 hide, and 50 stone. Moving on to grease orbs, for base ingredients you'll need 2 crystal, 1 ichor, and 12 hide. Up next, fire orbs. For base ingredients you will need 2 crystal and 5 volatile glands. Finally, to craft a gas orb, you will need 2 crystal and 10 puffball mushrooms. Alright guys, that wraps up this video. I hope it's been insightful and has shown you some pros and cons about using explosives versus orbs and has helped you become more defensive and offensive and has improved your game. Thanks for watching and until next time, best of luck. Oh.